Hey, it's the uh, Reckless Retiree here, and I just got done watching some more uh, Shri Tips YouTube videos on uh, recovering platinum. And so he uh, took some stannous chloride and put some of the, the liquid he had, uh, which should contain platinum, uh, on filter paper. Took it, transferred it with a glass uh, stirring rod, which I don't have, but I think I'll use this stainless steel uh, spoon, and uh, which is right here. And uh, so I'm gonna just, I don't have any strips of filled material, so I'm gonna cut this filter up into strips, and then I'm gonna go out, put my respirator on, my gloves, um, be, cover my skin and my face, as uh, Shri Tip says. He says not to do this in your backyard, so I'm gonna listen to him and I'm gonna do it in my side yard. All right, so here we go. Got this nice exacto knife, have this nice piece of scrap cardboard so I don't damage my bench. And I'm gonna cut a few strips out of this for future use. And uh, then, like I said, put on my protective gear, use my spoon to get a little material out of the um, flask. I have, I believe my uh, stainless chloride is out there. And uh, we will see if I have any platinum. Now, even if I this doesn't react like I do, I'm still going to put the uh, ammonium chloride in there because I already have it mixed up. And uh, But I may wait to do that until I get my vent uh, completed. So just for now, I'm, I'm curious, I want to see if this shows that I have any platinum. That's chloride. Guess what? It should turn brown or, or, or even orange and it did nothing of the kind, so... Seems to indicate there's no platinum. But I have some uh, ammonium chloride. I'm going to pour it in here anyway. Let's see what happens. Well, just like I thought, there's nothing in here. No precipitate at all. Obviously disappointing. So I'm going to let it sit a while, see if anything drops out. Then I'll filter it, see what ends up on the filter.
Well, that was disappointing. I really kind of expected it though, because when I watched Street Chips and he had a platinum coin that he dissolved with acid, uh, when he got done, his solution was orange. And uh, mine is yellow. I, I transferred it into this bottle so I could uh, seal it up and not be concerned about any fumes. Um, although it's probably safe because it has no platinum in it. That's what makes it dangerous is when you have platinum in it. But anyway, here it is. I'm gonna let it sit, see if anything uh, drops out. Um, and I'm not gonna give up at this point because I still haven't done the ultimate test and that's get material from the highway. So, um, sometime in the near future I plan on doing that either with my old system, as I've shown before, my uh, vacuum head, uh, which of course I want to try. I want to use, see if I, what I can get with it. But that's not the technique I plan on using in the future if I can uh, find the funds to put together the system I do want. And uh, of course it's all, um, a theory, I guess you'd say at this point. The idea of using a copier drum to statically attract the dust uh, from the road and uh, then to uh, possibly use a railgun type magnetic system to attract the uh, metal particles and to transport them into a, a storage container. And what I'm hoping there is to get only the tiniest particles, which the platinum should be, and only the metal particles, which the platinum will be. And I don't know any of this is going to work. I have to buy a used uh, copier. And uh, then I also have to do some studies and uh, come up with my own railgun. Uh, I talked to a guy who was an expert in the field, and he thought, well, I didn't need that elaborate system. I could just use a magnet. Well, you can't attract platinum with a magnet. Anybody knows that. So once he said that, I decided he wasn't such an expert. So um, in the interim, I'm going to get my uh, ventilation system working. So when I do have platinum, I'm uh, a lot safer. I use my uh, vent hood, and I'll show you that as I go along. This is all the duct work uh, that I have available to me to use and what I plan on doing is uh, putting a cover over top of the fan right here which I'll then connect the, the duct work to and with multiple elbows I will connect that to a straight shot all along the roof there and then uh, either straight out into the woods or maybe around the back of the shed. That might even be safer because then uh, I'll be well away from it. So that's the plan. Until we meet again.